Yeah, no, we're going to have to go in about hi. 15. Hi, hi, hi. Good morning. Hey, Tony good here. Morning. Okay, we're going to do the Google Hangout. A um, little live tease here, you guys, so hold on. Let me position this. <laughs> hey, Tony, here's what I do whenever we do that live tease with Francis. I put it in this box, so I grab it. There's an easier way to do it, but I'm too lazy to open up that program, so I just do this. Why are you showing me that? Just in case you ever catch yourself being here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they're going to uh, toss to us here in a second. Anyway, thanks for joining us, you guys. Hi, YouTubers. We're going to be hanging out with Ming-Na coming up shortly. Hopefully, and Anthony's looking for her right now. You know Ming-Na. She's on Agent Well, you know, now that Diano and uh, Matt have uh, educated me. Well, Tony, she was also on um, the movie A Joy she was on. Remember? Yeah, she was on ER. She was a long-standing <laughs> cast member on ER. That's right. She was yeah. on Eureka. Um, I didn't watch any of those things. As the World Turns. Did you watch, watch Joy Luck Club? That was such a great movie. No, I saw the movie. Hello. That was a fantastic movie. But there movie. were a lot of people in that movie. It's not there like were she a lot was the only one. There were a lot of Asians. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's true. I said there were a lot of people in that movie. You know what? Tony, Tony very quickly put the brakes on that. Listen, you guys, Tony, I just found out, is going to be shooting an episode of a show called Gang Related. I wonder why they picked you for that, Gang Related. Because um, Southside. They specifically asked for Tony, so you'll be seeing him. I think it is going to air on Fox soon, so um, be on the lookout for that show called Gang Related. <clears throat> awesome. I wonder if anybody's... You are anybody's like a hot um, refrigerator. I just can't keep my doors closed. You can't closed. keep nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering if anybody's going to ask Migna about um, Street Fighter. Street Fighter? Oh, you mean the game? I didn't realize. Oh, she... no, no, no. Uh, oh, oh, she's Chun-Li. Huh? Yeah, she was Chun-Li yeah. in the movie. Oh, she's here. Oh, she's she here. Pretty much I'm pretending like that never happened. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Most people do. Tony. Okay, let's come, sit down really quickly because okay. we're, we're going to the teas right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, I will start to talk in just a second. But look who has just sat down, Mingna. <gasps> look, you guys, we're hanging out. Ayub is in England. We've got Diano and wow. Hector and John, Matt, and Nick and Trev. Wow. Hello, boys. Hello. What's up? Hello, Ming. <laughs> Whoa, thank you. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, now I'm going to switch chairs with you. You are? Yes. Well, you're, like that, side, that side is better for you? Like, it's just easier for me to um, go through all the okay. particulars here with my computer. But all right. this way. No this matter is... who you mean, she wants the better life. Yeah, she wants the better life. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, God, you look so good. Every, every year you just get younger. Let me sit over there. Tony, you are more... <laughs> Tony knows that this seat is actually the better way. <laughs> And I have oh, I think I think we got two gorgeous brunettes right here. Oh, <laughs> look at you. Look at you. Listen, this is very casual and very informal. It's kind of a behind the scenes look at what we do. We go okay. to the newsroom behind us. And we do we get to hang out with a bunch of people here from all over the world. Fantastic. And um, if you guys hello YouTubers, thanks for tuning in. I don't in. know where to look. Is this, this is this our camera, little camera right camera? here. Okay. This one, I know, we're surrounded. Hi. You should have seen there was another camera here yeah. earlier and now that paparazzi uh, right. dude. That's is okay, here. you know, I work on the show Agents of <laughs> Shield. We have cameras everywhere. Yeah, and you have superpowers. Do you have the superpowers as well? No, just some super skills. Just some. Okay, but super yeah. skills. Hey, we'll take yeah. that. So you guys, we have Ming Na joining us. We were just talking about you just before you sat down. My gosh, name the shows you've been in the movies, um, from Joylet Club to ER mm -hmm. to um, now Agents of Shield. And I quickly introduced everybody, but let me do it again. This is Trev. He's hanging out with us from England. He's in New York. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Nick Hi, is in Dallas. Matt is in Reno. Mm -hmm. John is here in Riverside. Hi. Hector as well is in the Inland Empire. Diano is in Reno, and Ayub is also in England. We're flanked by the uh, the Brits today. Yeah, what time is it over there? Um, four o'clock, five. Almost five. Yeah, five. 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 five o'clock. All right, yes. not bad. And uh, if you guys have some questions on YouTube, just um, oh my gosh. Put it on it's a lot of social media here, comments. all happening at once. Hey, you're on social media, right? What is your Twitter? My Twitter is at Mingna. Very simple. That's easy. That's okay. easy. At yeah. Mingna. So you can tweet her yeah. um, at Mingna here. You guys, I'm pulling up my YouTube account. And uh, if you guys have a question, Matt, 
I have no idea where to look right now. <laughs> I know. I'm so sorry. It's really awful. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> so let's start with um, your character, of course, on Agents of Shield. Yes, so Agent Cuba Melinda Shield. May. Melinda May. Yes, she's the cavalry. The cavalry. That's the right. Cavalry. <laughs> it's so good, you guys. Now, don't ever call me that again. No. Yes, und understood. <laughs> so, uh, what is going on with this show? Congrats, by the way, on the success of the show. It's got a huge, huge following. Um, That's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean around the world. Touched, it's so like, crazy. I've, I've never been on a show where we have, um, like, the simultaneous... Um, exposure internationally, like this instantaneous. You know, our show's been on air for like maybe just two months, two and a yeah, half months. Yeah, not even a season. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's in Asia, it's in the UK, it's just everywhere. It's so exciting. Um, so you guys have some questions, I know, um, without you can't spoiling. I guess ask them. <laughs> uh, so Diano, Matt, Ayub, yes, Ayub, go ahead, go first. Okay. Um, I love the way your character has come in, kind of seeming to be in the background, but has grown throughout each episode and become more and more involved. Um, do you see that character becoming a, getting a role in the next uh, Avengers film as well? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Well, from your mouth to Joss Wheaton's ear. <laughs> 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 oh, it, I mean, we know not, him. Listen, we're, I am not reading. I am so thankful and so happy with Marvel's Agents of Shield. It's it's like my dream job, you know. Growing up as a geek girl, just absolutely love this character so much, and so thankful that Joss created her and gave the gift of this creation to me to work with and play with every day. Um, that sounded a little weird, no, but anyway. No. <laughs> But, um, but I, I heard it. So true, and uh, and uh, you know, anything else is just pure icing on this amazing cake. Uh, who would have their other question? Um, is it you, Trev? No, Diana. Go ahead, Diana. Uh, first off, I want to say what a very big fan I am of yours. Ever since Aww. like the ER days, uh, I, I, I've been a huge fan, and, and it really. Really made me happy to see you in Agents of Shield, which as a Joss Whedon show I was going to watch regardless because it's a Joss Whedon show. <laughs> but um, here, here. My, my question for you is like, uh, what, what, what did you think when you first got this script? Is like, what was your initial um, impressions of the character you'd be playing? Oh gosh, um, you know, there it wasn't a very fleshed out character in the pilot episode. She, you know, really had like three or four scenes, and um, I just kind of took it upon myself to create what what I would want for a character like this um, and you know I'm talking with Joss and figuring it out uh, it, it's kind of been an exciting discovery of who she is with each new script um, I have in my head uh, my you know being the geek girl that I am like this wow what would it be like to be this like really cool cool uh, female heroine, mm -hmm. and um, uh, so that's you know I think I just base it all on that, and uh, it's been yeah. I don't know it's just been fun and it's been fun seeing the the fans' response to her, mm -hmm. so it makes me feel like I'm I'm doing a decent job. Now you refer to yourself as a geek girl. Yeah. How do you define geek girl? Oh, let's see, president of my science fiction and fantasy club. In oh, high wow. Um, <laughs> Good deep thread. I love it. You know, playing Dungeons and Dragons and being the video game girl after school, going with my boyfriend, throwing wow. in all the quarters and okay. just reading okay. things from, you know, Jerry Purnell to Larry Niven. To You're that. totally in the Google Plus, uh, Google Plus Club then. Do you have a Google Plus account? No, I don't. You need to get on G Plus to okay. talk about the major geeks and gamers. Really? Where, uh, Are you guys all gamers? At. Well, um, there's a, yeah, they're all geeks. Gamer. Here. I think, I think it's like a major. Yeah, game. pretty much. My yeah, PlayStation Four is pre-ordered. I'll be picking, picking yeah. it up on Friday. Awesome. That's how much of a geek I am. <laughs> yeah, no, major, major gamers. Okay, who else had a question for Mingna? Ah, uh, go ahead, Matt. I do. Um, uh, first off, a uh, uh, huge fan of the show. Uh, I, I end up running an Agents of Seal discussion. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Say, uh, we talk about the show. We get lots of viewers on YouTube. It's it's amazing. And uh, uh, I just wanted to, to ask, 
Uh, do you think that your your character of Melinda May is going to uh, continue to be this this enigma, or are are we going to see more more focus on her at some point? Hmm. Well, I think uh, you know over the course of the last seven episodes, you have sort of seen her um, kind of lighten up a bit more. She feels she's mm. now really part of this team, and uh, she's very protective of uh, her her teammates. You know. Um, so I, I definitely think that she will grow uh, to be uh, the the heart of gold woman that she is. I don't know. Nice. <laughs> we'll see. Cool. I like that. We'll see. But you know, yeah, she's definitely expanding her um, her uh, what should I say her personality. Um, can I ask and uh, can I change the subject just a little bit because I. I always ask this of my um, I, my guests here in the Hangouts. There's a lot of aspiring actors and uh, if, that watch us on YouTube and who hmm. want to get into this industry. What kind of wisdom can you impart on them, especially you know being a woman, being an Asian American woman? Mm -hmm. What kind of um, advice would you give someone? Um, I mean, for me, it, it was always just if you have the passion to be in this business in any field, whether it's writing, um, you know doing animation or mm -hmm. uh, acting. You just really have to believe in yourself and love it enough and, and just keep dreaming big. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, this is this is a really, really tough business to be in. And even, I mean, we last week, I think all of us put in like 70 hour work week, you know, in not very pretty locations and night shoots. And you just, you know, you just have, and at the end of the day, you do it because you just love the job so much. Because I was reading that, um, you know, at first, myself being Asian American, um, you know, my parents, when I told them I wanted to get into this business, mm -hmm. so it wasn't the route that they traditionally oh, gosh, wanted, no. right? No. Did they try to discourage you from Oh, absolutely. Yes. Really? Yeah, my mom didn't want me to get into this business mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. But, you know, but I, but I mean, yeah, I've been there's a doctor. A of, I've a played of, a doctor. There's a lot of <laughs> truth to that uh, movie that we did with Joy Luck Club, yeah. you know, where we had, um, you know, certain expectations of us. Yeah. And I think a lot of parents probably feel that way, not just, you know, mm -hmm. Asian parents, mm -hmm. where it's just like, why would you want to get into this field? You know, mm -hmm. don't you want a real degree, mm -hmm. um, but uh, like I said, I think you know, like you and, and me, we, we just follow our hearts and mm -hmm. go where mm -hmm. where we know something that we do is going to make us happy. Mm -hmm. Then that's half the battle. That so. is so fantastic, you guys, yeah. and that's what keeps you young too, right? Well, I mean, look. <laughs> You look like you're 25. Oh, well, I'm not even you. kidding. I was just going to say, then, Bria, I just want to say, um, yeah, you, you look amazing, absolutely stunning, and and I since I I'm have probably, a Dorian Gray in my closet. Yes, you yes, do. <laughs> since it's highly unlikely I'm not going to see you, um, or, then yeah, then happy birthday for next week. Aww, Is it your birthday? It's so week? weird. It's so weird that I have people out there that I've just met that I don't know that knows it's my birthday. That's so <laughs> I love it. It's just more happy love. Birthday, happy birthday, everyone! Happy birthday! Hey, happy birthday! Hey, listen, happy early birthday. Our, birthday! Our show, our show, Marvel's Agents of Shield, and yours truly. We're both nominated for the People's Choice Awards. Yay! So please, please vote for new uh, TV drama. Mm -hmm. And favorite actress in a new TV series. That's right, because it's done. Choice, that's <laughs> done. Right? Yeah. It's okay, worldwide, so done. worldwide voting. So oh I'm my gosh. Now. Okay, <laughs> we'll spread it on our Google circles. Um, People's Choice Awards uh, yeah. for you personally. Because it's, yes. it's you guys. It's all about you guys voting for your favorite. That's awesome. All right, well, don't forget to watch. I know you guys know the night. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That is on. Um, Tuesday night, Tuesday night. night. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. on ABC. On ABC. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a quick photo before you go. Uh, uh, okay, hang on. Here's the camera right here. Okay, you guys ready? Okay, one, two, three, two. <laughs> Yay. Yeah? Ooh, I like that one. Yeah. Yeah? That's a good one. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. She's going to be going on the set of MyFoxLA.com if you want to continue another interview there with, um, with the gang in Living Room. Well, nice talking to you, boys. Thanks for stopping yeah, by. It was a pleasure. Bye. Okay. All right. This oh, okay. Is I know. I don't get I know. You'll get it. It's a dead zone. Okay. Sorry, gang, but I gotta get out of here. I have a meeting to get to. I will have a later. I'm just glad I made it in for this. Bye. Okay.
I can assure you I can hear Lisa Rex from the background. <laughs> so yeah, what? Yeah, they yeah, work there. Well, 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 I know there. <laughs> <laughs> At least she said hi to us yesterday. Lisa's in the newsroom. Besides the pizza choice, anything else you want to get one time? I'm going to take your minor yesterday. Um, she said, what? Huh? Tuesday's the day. Tuesday's the day. I know, I know, Lisa. I know. Vote for her. Yeah. 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 She can tell us what she's saying. Yeah. Do you know where to tell them to go to just to go to Pizza? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we need to talk to Justin about what's going on with his computer. Is that just oh, what? Yeah. What's wrong with your computer, Justin? Sorry, sorry, guys. What are you talking about? He, he, he said he looks bad, and if anybody wants to look at bad, like, that would be Did I not look good here? I'm going to hit. Did I look bad? No. You didn't look bad. You can't look bad. But when I saw how you looked, Yes, I thought I if you if she looks like that, you sat next I'm gonna look like Quasimodo. <laughs> yeah, what were your bells? <laughs> See there. Lisa, but at least you were honest. You were honest. It would have looked fine, but you. And so how would Tony have looked like Quasimodo? Uh, <laughs> I know that that lighting is crazy. Tony's having too much fun. But I was looking at my sleep. Oh, Tony! And he was like, I'm not getting there. <laughs> but you would never have known if I had not chosen. That's right. It's rather like dark shadow. It's a lot. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> she should know. <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm like a hopper. Is Maria in blue Tony, jeans? you can't keep nothing. No. <laughs> Tony can't keep nothing. Oh, there we go. All right. I love, I love it. Okay, ready? One, one, two, three. <laughs> Isaiah, get in the hangout. Hi, no, Actually, I think that's all we have today. Um, hangout. John, hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Maria. Okay. Do not worry there for a second. Um, oh, fantastic. Yeah. I have to get on the set for. Uh, I know. Here's what's going on. I think Tony was explaining to you. Um, here's Shaka. Hey, it's Shaka. Um, you know, we have been included in the rotation for a lot more participation on Good to LA. So I think I'm going to have to curb just a little bit uh, my time here in the Hangout. And it's unfortunate because then Shaka is not here at He's doing a bunch of stuff and then Tony and stuff. Thank you so much. I'm trying to work it out. Maybe we can do like okay. one interview or at least one guest a day. Maybe we could do that. Um, you know, I can't like do the job like was first, also, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And, um, well, if it was a choice between you know being being on Airmore or being with Usman, then obviously you're gonna pick. <laughs> you're gonna pick me on Airmore. Well, it's not up to me, my choice. I would love to do both sure, as part of the on-air. You know, I always push for that, and I don't want that to stop. I don't want to stop the momentum that we've had. So it's just going to be not as many, I guess. Like, so You remember how sometimes we'll interview like four or five guests? Do you remember how we used to do that? I don't think we'll be yeah. doing that quite as much. So I think one or two, we could probably do that. Um, is, that is that forever or just this month? I think just for now. I think for now, right. yeah. Um, and then we'll be, then we'll be going into the holiday season. So yeah, don't you know, start crying yet, Trev. Well, this is a you know it's been the, even even if it's just an hour and a half out of every every weekday, that's a major part of my life for the past two years, isn't it? Oh, like you're right. Yeah. No, I know. Mine too. Mine too. Trust me. Like I couldn't. 
I think about it when I'm not here. Yeah, well, I'll say, yeah. We were hanging out last about an hour yesterday. Oh, I'll have to get on the set. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, Maria. Okay. <laughs> so what's new to Shaka? I don't know. <laughs> that beard is amazing. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. By the way, the Shaka. Yes. There goes Julie running. But I just I just ran across it yesterday your review. Here goes Atlee's comment. I just I, I, it was very well done. Oh thank you. Thank you, you do so much better job than the, than the people I see at CNET and all this. Can I say that? Please, please, no, don't say it loudly. Um, I mean, you your reviews are like head above heels over the people I read on CNET and in Gadget, and I mean, because I read all of those reviews. Mm -hmm. I read all of them. I mean. And you're just like, oh my God! I'm head above heels over those guys. I mean, some of them I read these, I get, think, what? Yeah. And it's not even about, it's not even about, um, it's not even about their opinion. I don't care if they don't like something. Right. It's 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 a basic lack of understanding what the gadget is that they're reviewing. Right. Well, I think a lot of times when people review gadgets, they re they review them. We we people who review gadgets, we forget that most people who buy gadgets are not this they're not they're not computer programmers. They're not right. developers, they're not super, not all they're, you know, they're lay the majority people. of people who buy gadgets are not tech people. They're lay they're lay people. And so when you when somebody who's not a tech person is is looking at a review, for instance, and it has all the uh, the benchmarks, people don't know what the heck that you know, they're like, okay, so I've got a Thirty-five fifty-four on an open GL. Open GL. What's open GL? You know, people. And so I think when you can create a review that, I mean, because there's definitely a place for reviews for games. What I would call, what I would call it, and and and, and it's it. Here's the thing. Let, let me well, I wanted to call it RF two RF squared and call let it let reviews for regular. Tell you about, I don't know if any of you read Tashaka's review on the website, but if you haven't, on um, Samsung Galaxy Note three, he's done other reviews as well. You should you should act. And I have one of those, by the way. You should actually read it. But but what I love about his reviews is that he doesn't he doesn't write his reviews for the for the uh, for the tech geek because let's face it, most people are not tech geeks. They're not techies, and so these are not the people who are going to be going out and spending most of the money for these gadgets. Most of the people are just lay people, and so what 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 you get from Tashaka when you read his reviews. You, you get a sense that this is a guy who really knows all the technical stuff when it comes to the gadget, but he knows how to take all of that technical mumble jumbo and, and put it into words that ordinary people who are not tech geeks can understand. And that, to me, is, is the art of writing a great review. It means nothing that you know this stuff. If you um, if you do a science degree, um, much of the degree is about communication to the general public. It's the same sort of thing. You know, it's so that's that's as important, or, or it's maybe not as important, but it is it is very important. So you're right. Yeah. But I, I think I think one of the things that scientists do is 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 a lot of times we get caught up in the ivory tower, and and forget how to communicate with regular people. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I, I went back to school for a period of time and studied. Um, Lower division, mind you, no, nothing incredible, but neuroscience. And my professor, uh, the, one of the best professors I ever had, I knew I had a good professor when on the first test of the semester, he said, this is how I'm going to do my curve. My curve will be based on the best score, the top score of the top student in class. Because I figure I'm human, and I may have messed up a question, I may have not written it clearly, so I figure if the smartest or the brightest student with the highest grade that's actually the 100% right there. So yeah. I was like, wow, this guy admits that he's fallible, that he may have not made yeah, a, yeah. a great test, and he's going to judge by the smartest student. Okay, this is a good professor. And so that, this gentleman knew how to explain things. When he was explaining how, um, how the eye works, how, how it actually, how I mean, we were getting into the, the neuroscience of, of just... Uh, the complexities of the eye and, and how it connects to the brain and and he said look I'm about to explain to you how this works um, Go ahead. Jessica Sanchez is coming okay cool. right now. yeah so she'll be here in a second finish your thought Sorry. so I'm gonna tell you how this works but this is completely factually wrong what I'm telling you he said but I'm gonna explain it to you this way because if I explain it this way you'll understand it 
then I'll go back and tell you guys the science. <laughs> right. And th so and so I think that it's incumbent upon us who have to explain these things or who've chosen to explain these things to explain them and make them uh, plain. And then when we hang out with our geek buddies, then we can gush <laughs> over numbers and stats and figures and all that kind of stuff because I do love doing that. Well, if you guys haven't had an opportunity to read uh, Tashaka's uh, review of the Galaxy Mail 3, whether or not you're actually interested in the device oh, I, itself. I want to see that. I saw. It's really, is really it well done. And here's the thing. And here's my test. My test is a very simple one. It was a long review, and a lot of times these yeah, reviews yeah. are very comprehensive and they're very long. And if 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 like if like after the third paragraph, I'm going all right already, and I skip to the, <laughs> you know, and I no shock is it's very and I skip to the conclusion yeah. that you know then the reviewer hasn't done what he or she is supposed to do, and I didn't do that with the shocker's review at all. Is, I, it, on the, is I, it on the fox? I do love the way Maria just tidies Tony up box, every now and again. Tony, Tony needs tidying, as you know. Uh, it's oh. on my Google Plus profile. <laughs> okay, you, cool. You read my Kingston. <laughs> oh, you did the, oh, the mobile app. Yeah. I just like brush it. Tony down every now and again. Make I, sure he looks neat. Can you review on that too? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's on. Um, sorry. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, it's really good. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a fun device. I want to take it on my vacation. And take it on a road trip. Yeah. yeah. Oh, heck yeah. I think it's great for what it does, absolutely. And the price. And for the price. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so the Kingston Mobile Wireless. Um, the or the Kingston. Kingston, Kingston Mobile. The Kingston Mobile Wireless. <laughs> yeah, mine. Yeah. Nice yeah. to work in Kingston. Pass the Dolce on the left hand side. You did not just say Pass the Dolce and sound like you were Scottish. Pass the Dolce on the left. Mm -hmm. Isn't that funny how when people do Jamaican accents, a lot of the times it gets they, Scottish. They get Scottish on you somewhere. Well, isn't there some kind of line to the Scots? You start off sounding like Sidney Poitier and end up sounding like fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> get in my like, belly. Yeah, I'm on. Get in <laughs> my. No, no, no. <laughs> that would be just criminal. You start um, off going, "What up, boy? What I say?" Get in my belly! <laughs> you do it so much better than I. Um, speaking of fat bastard, it's actually pretty good white wine. Have you ever had a fat bastard? It's mm. pretty good. There is such mm, a wine. We're broadcasting on air, so I can't really... Mm, speak yeah. to the... Um, <laughs> to the, the yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, but care. I haven't. And I heard of wine? Arrogant Bastard Ale. Oh, you've heard of that? Um, yeah, Arrogant, arrogant Bastard Ale. I've that, but there is a fat bastard one. It's pretty good. Oh, okay. um, where is where's just I, 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 I like, told that just uh, uh, there's a, a Belgian cider that I had recently. Uh, something framboise. Uh, I want to say it begins with an L. L something framboise, and it was this raspberry <laughs> raspberry cider L thing that was just incredibly delicious. I think I hear someone. Do you guys oh, all Lambe. know? Oh, Lambe, Lambe Frambois, Lambe Frambois. That's Isn't cool. there an actor named Lamb, something Lambo? There's Lambe. a singer named Adam Lambert. No, there's another actor, Lambert. Anyway, here she comes. Do you guys all know Jessica Sanchez? Beautiful young girl. No, from American Idol, oh, right? She, 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 she reminds me a little bit of Nicole Scherzinger, sort of a younger version. Yeah, there she comes. Oh, look. So Jessica Sanchez. I have a blonde thing going on. I didn't there. recognize you being blonde. <laughs> Hello. Oh, what's going on? Nothing much. It's so nice to see you. Yes, you come, come join me. Come join me here, please. Um, this is Jessica Sanchez, you guys. Uh, Jessica, of course, we all know. Good morning and welcome to our hangout. We all know um, was the runner-up. For the eleventh season, that's my phone. It's yours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. She left hers. It says black and white. It looks just like yours. Yeah, no, that one's mine. <laughs> there's, uh, there's no, other no I don't think she left it here. <laughs> Sorry for interruption, yeah. my darling. Oh, no. um, very casual, very casual kind of chit chat. And I know you're going to go on the air here uh, very soon. I can actually with me. Yeah. We're going to talk a little bit um, on the set. But this is our Google Plus Hangout, and we get to hang out with the best. Because yeah. Ming doesn't know where hers is. I know. I know. 
Um, so we've got these guys here hanging out with us. Let me quickly introduce you. So Jessica Sanchez, by the way, you guys, was the uh, runner-up on the, I believe, the 11th season of American Idol, correct? Um, some people, including myself, think that you should have won. Um, definitely, especially with that powerhouse um, <laughs> song that you uh, sang. Was it the, the Dream Girls song? Yeah, it was one of it. Mm -hmm. um, amazing. You guys should really watch it. It's on YouTube. Uh, we are hanging out with Hector this morning from uh, the Inland Empire. John as well. Good morning. Justin is in England. We have Nick, who is in Dallas, and we have Trev, right. who is in uh, Yorkshire, also in the UK. Hi. And I want to say hi to all of our YouTubers out there. Hey, YouTubers! I hope you got to join in. I'm sorry I didn't get to push that Jessica was going to be on. I didn't know. I'm so glad. What a great surprise! Um, <laughs> listen, I, I and, and I'm going to take it a little bit serious because one of the reasons why you're here today is because. You're talking about um, an event that you're going to be at, right, this weekend? Is it this weekend? Um, and it's a charity uh, drive or event to help raise funds yeah. to right. help all of our um, Filipinos who are in such desperate need in the Philippines. And so this is coming up when? This Friday? Yeah, this Friday at 5 o'clock uh, p.m. Pacific time. Uh -huh. And um, all the proceeds will be donated to the Red Cross to... Um, Help benefit the the typhoon that just happened uh, yes. in the Philippines. Yes, and thousands, mm -hmm. thousands, and thousands of people who um, are unaccounted for still. Where is the event at this Friday? Um, it's an online streaming, so oh. you can get tickets on uh, stageit.com. So uh -huh. yeah, you just watch it online. Which, where, what website? Stageit.com. Stageit. Mm -hmm. Oh, stageit.com. So you guys check it out, stageit.com, and um, all of the proceeds are going to benefit all of the uh, people in the Philippines and Europe going to perform, of mm -hmm. course, right? Yeah. Um, now, to, who else is going to do that? Do you know who's going to be participating? Um, it's just going to be me and uh, one other friend. Uh -huh. uh, he went with me to uh, the Philippines when I had my first solo concert. He was like kind of my backup singer, uh -huh. uh, uh, Blair Perkins. He's Blair coming, Perkins, yes. okay. Um, and I'm just excited to be doing this event, you know, raise money for my people. I mean, they've always been supportive. Very. And, yeah. They and are it's awesome to give back. Fans. Yeah, yeah. The Philippines is some completely different, I think, especially, you know, in Tokelo and South and to Mindanao um, and Samar. Did you visit that area when you were there uh, last no, year? No, I've only been in Manila, Just but Manila. Um, I'm going back actually uh, soon, in like two or three weeks oh for a Starkey gosh. event. Um, but, um, I mean, that was planned before this whole thing happened. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping that when I go back over there, I can actually help with the, you know, what's happening with the efforts. You guys, if you have a question, just get my attention and I will go to you for sure. <laughs> um, Trev, yes, go ahead. Yeah, did you, um, did you arrange this charity gig off your own back? Is this your um, own thing? Yeah, my management helped me uh, put it all together. Um, and it was really, really last minute, but I'm happy that I can do this. And like I said, just give back to people. It's amazing. I think it's for a great cause. So. That's fantastic. So it's 5 p.m. Pacific, right? Mm -hmm. 5 p.m. Pacific um, here in the U.S. So that would be 12, like 12 or 1 in the U.K., right? A one, one in the UK. It's one a.m. It's Saturday morning. You guys will be awake um, and uh, tune in, right? Um, you are eighteen now. Mm -hmm. Wow, oh, yeah. all grown up, sort of. Yeah, but I feel like we watched you grown up from the time that you were on American Idol. Yeah, you. I saw you were performing with Neo. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What else has been happening in your life since tons, then? Tons. I mean, I've, I've been to the White House like twice this year. Twice? For President wow. You performed through the president? Yeah. And the, wow. It's, I mean, it's amazing. I feel like I'm in like home now. <laughs> um, and then um, I went to the Starkey Gala and I'm doing the mission in the Philippines. Um, and um, I've just been, I've been really busy. I'm going to China next week. Uh, traveling. So, yeah. Traveling a lot. Um, you uh, grew up here in California. Do you have any family members um, that are in the Philippines that, uh, that you know or mm -hmm. you know, my so grandfather's in the Philippines? Your Lolo or what do you call him? Mm -hmm. I call him Grandpa. Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, he's in the Philippines right now. My grandma's actually here with us visiting. Um, but yeah, we called him. Where? When all this uh, mm -hmm. You know, there are seven thousand islands in the Philippines, so it's quite spread out. Um, over three hundred languages. It's 
It's really an amazing country. If you get a chance to go, um, I was born and raised part of my life in Cebu. I actually lived the first two years of my life in Tacloban, Tacloban City. So. Um, I'm, I'm fairly familiar with that area. It's so beautiful. Do you speak um, any of the dialects? I don't. I'm actually learning right now. Oh, good for you. <laughs> yeah, good, good, learning. good. I can um, Tagalog <laughs> Tagalog. This is very, very little I can understand in Tagalog. But Cebuano and Visayan, I can understand pretty much everything. It's just hard to speak it. Yeah. You know, just like you mm -hmm. raised here, um, uh, you. And my parents didn't really impress upon me. Yeah. She knew to speak That's it. how my mom is. Like, yeah. she, she understands it, but she can't really speak it. Yeah, same, same yeah. as me. Um, so what does she speak, or what does she understand? Um, Tagalog. Tagalog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Um, this, well, you're doing a wonderful thing on Friday. So yeah, that's you. fantastic. Uh, do you know what you'll be singing or what you'll be performing? I mean, this is so last minute. Yeah, I and know. I'm you doing uh, together. Yeah, Christmas tree lighting tomorrow, so I've been rehearsing the songs for that, and then oh, all of a sudden okay. this came up. So I mean, I don't really have like a set list mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. but I mean, we're coming up with it. By the way, there's an event on Friday. Well, I think it's coinciding with your event, so you can't really be there. But um, I some friends of mine are actually putting together something. They're performing at the Bicycle Casino. I don't know if you've heard of that one. I don't think I have. No, you haven't heard of that one. Um, that one also has, I can't remember who else. Anyway, I think it may be too late to pull up. But um, if you guys are watching as well, um, you can donate that way um, by heading to the Bicycle Casino on Friday night if you're here in L.A. Um, what else? What else is going on? I know you'll be traveling to the Philippines in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, any collaborations uh, in the upcoming besides Neo that you just collaborated with? I mean, I'm definitely right now working on some new music mm -hmm. and uh, the future that's coming out of me. So I mean, but right now I'm trying to think of all the travels that are going to go on because it's going to be like going to be jet lagged and there's going to be a lot going on for the Starkey. We're um, actually going to fit uh, four to five thousand mm -hmm. hearing aids and those mm -hmm. ears. So I mean, it's going to be that's also going to be an awesome thing, and I'm hoping yeah. to help us in what happens. Yeah, happen. you have to prepare yourself for what you're going to be seen when you yeah. get there. Honestly, <laughs> really, you have to put your mind in a certain place. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to see it on. TV, yeah, and a whole nother thing to be there, you know, amidst all of it. Um, the Filipinos were strong. I just I feel a little bit sad when I hear about the looting and stuff that's going on. Yeah, it's, it's desperate times, I suppose, um, for people. So I just I just hope and be you know obviously stay safe yeah. when, when you're down there. Um, okay, you guys, I think we're gonna go on the set and we're gonna do that interview with um, with Jessica there. So. Let's take a quick photo though before you go. I want to document okay. this moment with you. Hector, did you have a question? No, you're good. Okay. No, I just want to say peace for photo. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. There's a camera right there. Okay, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Cheese. And seriously, you guys, look up her incredible performances. I mean, they're all over YouTube, but you're amazing. Amazing. Thank that you. voice. Thank you. This little girl. It was like when I first met Cherise Pompenko. Have you met her, by the way? I don't think I have. You haven't? No. Oh, you'll have to meet her. She's another one. She's like really tiny. I heard. Yeah, that voice. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. And, um, Good I luck on Friday with the charity concert. Yes. <laughs> I think I heard what you said. Okay, we're going to go this way. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. Alrighty. Come this way. Since Tony's here. If Tony wants to come by, I know what Tony's doing. Um, okay. You know why she took the last name back? What? She got tired of people saying, Hey, you're home.
what is her name? What's her last name? Right, W-E-N. Well, she didn't use that when she was here. No, she did. She used it a long time ago. She dropped it for a while and now she fell. She might be. Did I ever tell you about doing more of her I used to have a lot of people who were inside the house back in the 70s and 80s. And at one point, you know, it was in the 70s, it was kind of hard to find. You know, it's been a good thing for some of the communities that you and I have been blessed. And then, two years after that, we got to the very last year. I'm starting around, I'm back to the psychic friends network. I'm talking to the two people talking to them, and I'm talking to them. So what was the deal with that? So friends, uh, she apparently was reading wrong. He told her she needed another one. Well, no, no. I said there's something you're absorbed with here in the world, which is you have to be a dumb to tell me. So the thing she tells me is when she got to the back of the night, she says, I lost all my money, she went for all the money. And that's wow. when she and that's when she had her fisher with um with uh, yeah, her back rack. <laughs> so she took me back off. It's a great story. I'll go to Barbara Bruce. Remember, she's Barbara Steele? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Um, why is everyone typing for me? I have no, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, I was typing because my uh, house phone was just ringing. Was ringing. I, I thought I'd type just so it makes really good YouTube footage. <laughs> Everyone yeah. really sitting here silent. No, I didn't get any notification at all today for the hangout. I suddenly realised what the time was and had to search around. Maybe they've blown the Brits out, Trev. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there were three of us here today, though, wasn't there? Yeah. Uh, they can try, but we keep coming back now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're hard to keep away. Well, you are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Justin, what I want to say was, if it's a graphics card, um, I can send you my old one. I don't know, mate. I really don't know, because it's the whole system's as, as good as it was... As good as it has been, it's working fine with everything. All, all the stuff I do with graphics, all the other stuff, everything's working as it always has. Literally, I did a, a hangout with, with Fox and Maria and everybody uh, a week or so ago uh, at this time. And then that was working fine. And then later in the evening that night, they updated to the new hangout look for me, where I finally got it. And instantly then and there straight away it was just glitching and CPU usage at a hundred percent and it hasn't run properly since but only for hangouts everything else is fine again so that's why, that's why I'm attributing it to hangouts have you, have you uninstalled and reinstalled the plugin? yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. That's a little bit of my no, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm baffled by it. But it was literally uh, from the hangout being all right that afternoon to the map date into the new one, and it not being all right. Literally, the first hangout I jumped into, even jumping in on my own without anybody being in it, uh, and the CPU's 100% usage was ridiculous. Uh, not a huge amount. Have you got a couple of gig on? Yeah. If you've got, you got two gig on more, it should be okay. Yeah, it should be fine. I mean, it's, it's uh, like I said, it's, it's handled Hangouts before and all sorts of stuff. Uh, but now, yeah, it's just, uh, 
real problems. Um, and the, the the vision and sound sounds out of sync. I get the well, typical, like real life. You hear it before you see it. Well, I um, I get that quite a lot as well. It's been like that for the last couple of weeks. Um, yeah, since the update. Yeah. Now, um, Justin, you might need to clear out your browser's cache because you might have done that already, uh, done that already Nick. Done it several times. Because I was going to say, but you might have codecs fighting with each other. Yeah, but I've, I've cleared out the cache, I've cleared out browsing history, I've cleared out the... went through the whole lot. What about the app permissions? Yeah, I've been through it. It's, I'm just a little bit baffled by it. Have you I tried reinstalling Chrome the, and re um, reinstalled it and done all sorts of things. Did it, yeah, everything I could think of. The Hangout plugin you reinstalled? Yeah. That is odd. It is. But if you didn't get the invitation, uh, Justin, are you, are you still following Fonts Eleven on the circles, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the only, that's how you get the invites. Because I go in at eight a.m. and I don't get the um, the join hangout um, um, notification until like eight twenty or eight twenty-five. Well, I norm morning. normally get notified, but there was nothing. But today I just went straight onto the Fox page and saw you all sitting there and thought, oh, it did happen then. <laughs> so yeah. just Yesterday jumped in from there. Yeah. Yesterday, Maria couldn't even go on air on the, from the Fox page, so she had to go to her um, Google yeah, account so and redo it again. I think what they've done is uh, they've changed so many things in such a short amount of time that everything is now all starting to back up and glitch itself. And what we've ended True. up with is one almighty mess where nobody seems to know what's going on because they did too much too soon, too quick. Yeah, and I can only select myself and I can't select others. It's a shame because I love the Hangouts. I mean, it's one of the major things going for Google+. Uh, so uh, I'm quite annoyed, actually. It's not running that well for me, not like it was doing. <laughs> Yeah, I like the old Hangout much better. Yeah, I, I did. This, this new thing where, where they put the where they put our uh, <laughs> images at the bottom now. If if we're using uh, things like lower thirds, uh, yeah. those those just run over the top of all of that. Um, and I've tried to insert my own name on the uh, character generator, the way the way how John has his, but I can't actually insert mine. I do have my lower third on. I do have my name on it and my hometown, but it's not showing on my uh, thing when I go on the, the Hangout toolbox. Yeah. Yeah, it's the the Hubble thing's a bit of a mess. I'm not sure why they had to change the look of it. It was working fine as it was. Uh, they fiddled about. I think the problem is with designers. Well, the problem is with engineers, not designers. This is the problem. When things are working fine, they feel they're out of a job unless they tweak with things and keep the interest going. So they, they start fiddling about and tweaking with more things to try and keep people watching. But Agreed. the problem is because they're people and engineers and tweakers, they often do it because they can and because they feel they should, not because they ought to or it needs doing, which also means a lot of the time design becomes secondary, which means there's an awful lot of really bad designs that are implemented in the in these things as they're pushed out. And this the new look hangout is one of them. It's not designed well. It's not as good as the other one. The other one worked really well. They've gone in and actually gone backwards with the design. Yeah. I do like the full screen idea of the Hangout. It's, it's, you know, there's certain things that I really like about the new version, but I'd like it if it worked. That's number one for me. It's, it's yep, got to, here. it's got to look right and work right before uh, anything else. You know. But it does look much nicer, I must admit. I'll give them that. It, yep. It's just some bits. Yeah. Any plans this weekend, guys? Never any uh, plans. No, not really. Just try and stay alive, I think. Same here. 
that's about it. That's, that's a good goal, I think, isn't it? A good goal for the weekend. Yeah, I always, I always find it's better than trying to kill oneself, yeah. Although I've tried doing that, but that's mainly through partying and drink. All right, John, I see your um, comment. I'm on the Hangout Toolbox. Mm -hmm. All right, so what do I do? It says, like, I go to the very first one where it has a little circle with a little like um, uh, icon guy right there, right? Uh, it's yeah. next to the it's next to the uh, audio symbol. Yeah. Okay, so what do I enter where it says lower third? Just enter your name and all that everything. Okay, and do I turn on lower third? Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's on. And where it says enter tagline. Enter tagline. Yeah, it's under the bottom where it says um, lower third. Uh, says, no, I didn't do that. Okay, I just went so to, custom okay. I just went to save present, which is on the custom overlay. Uh huh. And then just put anything. Do I need to click custom overlay on or off? Uh, you can. Not unless you have a file no. in there. No, because I hit custom upload and it's not showing anything. I don't know if it works for a Mac. Right. Um. Custom uploads have to be PNG files, and they have to have transparency, or else it's so it just going to block you out. I guess it will only work on PC, right? Uh, no, I, I think PNGs work on Mac, too. Yeah. I'll probably need to download it from the, um, from the uh, Toolbox app, because if I hit Custom Overlay on, it shuts down the lower third. Well, yeah, it, it does. Because, and it says um, Overlay Selected. But yeah, look, I'll, I'll put in a custom off. overlay and show you what it does. Yeah, I got refreshed, I got kicked out, and I came back. Wouldn't be a proper hangout unless you, uh, unless we ended up with several hectares at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> See, here's a custom overlay that I made. Oh, that's cool, Nick. Looks nice. Right. Yeah. Nice microwave, Nick. Look at that. And it's a PNG file, and I have various levels of transparency going. Reggie Dare. It looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm on the toolbox, and it says, and it won't allow me to hit custom. I hit custom upload, and it's not showing any um, select or cancel or anything. Is there any particular reason why you wanted to look like you were sitting inside a microwave, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was in a contest to make the goofiest one possible, and right, uh, okay. that was just my contribution. Good answer. Nick, what, what's the then album again, called? I have this one. <laughs> Nick, what's your album called? Nice, yeah, like nice. The album. Oh, it's uh, called um, Artists in the Plus Online Music Festival 2013. 36 photos, is that the one? Let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Nice. <laughs> that's all I've heard. Okay, well, there's one girl there. See, that's the other problem as well. When people ask me to look at links and things, I can't if I've got the Hangout running because the, the drain on the CPU is mad. If I try to open anything else up, it just crashes the whole system each time. I can't do anything other than hang out. You might need to reconfigure your proxy. Why? It's been fine. Everything's fine. I don't see why they should update something and then have me have to reconfigure my whole system just to run one aspect of something that they've happened to have mucked about with. It works as good as it always worked with everything it's ever been used for. But for some reason with the Hangouts, it's just not having it. They've done something and it's killing the system. I, um, I, I, I need a handbag and I haven't got one. I just don't see uh, I don't see why I should have to change the whole thing over that though because it was fine up until they updated it surely it, it, it just seems odd to me if they've done it 
and certain systems can't run it, surely they're alienating half of the people that they're wanting to use Hangouts and get on Google+. Yeah, I know. But it, it might just be you as well, um, because I, I had uh, some problems with... Um, it was when they interlinked everything, the chat and Hangouts and everything. When they did that, I had I, I can't remember what I did to fix it though. But it wasn't the same problem you're having. Um, no. But um, I did have problems with it. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, driving me nuts at the moment. And for tomorrow, I'm going to use this when it hits Friday. You guys didn't cool hear that, story, did you? bro. Yes, we heard it. Yep, the applause. That's what we're going to use when it hits when we get invited. I want to say, have, good morning, Maria. Happy Friday. And then we get the applause. I hear that noise every time I have sex. <laughs> <laughs> so we still have that as well. So, we are oh. outro, yeah. Yeah, so what? <laughs> they're fucking, they're worse for me, aren't they? The, 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 the internet, the YouTube errati. And here's some background experimentals. Um, if I ever want to put myself in a background, I had to be in a green screen so I can get a good overlay and thinking that I'm really good because if I just use a regular wall, it's just going to look a little fuzzy. Let's see how it looks without a green screen. All right, let me click this one. I've never seen it attempted. Oh, okay, well, it still works. Nearly, yeah, but I'm much easier to, if if I use a green screen. I'll look <laughs> like I'm actually there without showing a little bit of my television. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, yeah. It, it doesn't. It, it works better than I thought it would. That, that's what I should have said. Yeah, green screen would be better. Yeah, there you go. Justin, you look like um, a character out of Nightmare. Do you remember when we were yeah, kids? Yeah, it's just, just give me a brick head. <laughs> it used to be in Nightmare, there was that wall that could talk, wasn't there? The, the, the yeah, yeah. Left, 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 forward, 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 right, left, mm. left, left. I'm <laughs> feeling a bit pixelated. Mm. Be kind to our Asian friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably racist. Somebody yeah. Said. yeah. <laughs> Con consider I'm sitting here with a uh, very large Asian dragon just behind me, Nick. You have to watch what you're saying there, mate. And that's just the wife. <laughs> well, I guess you guys are going to have to you guys are gonna see me plugged in with the wire again. Bluetooth's running low on battery again. Going to stretch out my ear. Are you using a Bluetooth headset? Oh, I hope I'm not sick tomorrow. No, who, me? Me. All right. Better take some medicine today right before you get under the weather tomorrow. Yeah. A little bit of DayQuil or anything to prevent... Yeah, I have DayQuil. Cold. Nick on the Fedrin. Woohoo! <laughs> Just don't fall asleep if you take NyQuil. Yeah. Only for no, the night. Um, a Fedrin affects my balance, but I'll take it anyways. Yep. I'll probably I'll have to go on the uh, Google.com and type in how to insert my um, my CP <laughs> how, to, how to insert my CP with the uh, my own name for a Mac for a Mac. <laughs> Class. We're so bad. Even the word insert. <laughs> what, what stereotypical lads and it just just juvenile males you never do it how to insert my <laughs> yeah <laughs> Bridget, anyone answer the door I've actually had people go to their door after using that sound. That's funny. They might think it's actually 
thinking that someone's at the door, and I don't even, my house doesn't even have a door doorbell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they might think that. <laughs> yeah, door. That's brilliant. Well, this tone is always so fun to say about me. I just live in a cave, so I don't, I don't, I've got a boulder. Nah, the only thing I want to plan to install is a type of doorbell where they can answer by radio, like other, like those rich houses. Well, I mean, that's not not um, such a, a rich person's thing anymore, is it? I mean, you, you can get all sorts on your phone now where you can, you can, someone rings the doorbell and you can see on your phone who's at the door. So it rings on your phone, so even if you're not at home, it rings True. there. You speak through the intercom, so it's all, it, you can make it appear that you're in. Um, yeah, but well, they can just text us saying, hello, I'm outside your house. Yeah, but what I mean is if, if someone comes to the house and they ring it, there's a little camera on the doorbell, and you can see on your phone who's at your door, so you can either be in or not. It, you just, you know, so if, if someone's, it, just as a security thing, if someone's there, ridiculous scenario, but some thief comes down to your house and rings the doorbell to make sure there's nobody in first, you can see them, mm. and then you can say hello and just pretend that you're in, and that, you know, that kind of thing. Not a very say, good thief if he turns up and rings your doorbell, is he? No, I know, I know, but that's what I'm saying. It's some... <laughs> <laughs> sort of thief does that. I'm going well, to break into this house, but first I'm going to ring their doorbell. Yeah. A really polite thief. Polite thief. Yeah, excuse me, I've come around to rob you. <laughs> and then... I'm placing all your goods in this sack. Then a brawl will appear. The what? A brawl, as in fight. Someone oh, okay. trying to break in. Take out the burglar, tie him up with rope, call the cops, and send him straight to jail. How very un-American of you. I thought you shot him. Shot him and said, you got one toast, that's, that's funny carpet, bang, chest gone. Nah, if I, ha if I actually had a permit to own a gun, I will actually shoot the intruder with a tranquilizer. That's more like it. Oh, right, okay. Not a killer, no bullet, just a tranquilizer, just to no, put him asleep for at least a few hours, and then when he wakes up, he'll be looking at his cell. Well, by the being back. Exactly. He'll be waking up after the tranquilizer starts to wear off. He'll be looking that he's sitting into a, into a jail cell. Is, uh, <laughs> is the chest going to make a fire on Okay, Maria's back. I know. But <laughs> yes, yes, she is. I know. No, you're right. I'm sorry. But hey, we tried it, right? Oh, you guys are still here. That's hilarious. Yeah, we are. Yeah. We've been talking rubbish for the last two weeks. <laughs> Rubbish! <laughs> rubbish. That Talking big rubbish. Um, uh, I just did the interview on the set. And, um, yep, I, didn't I saw it. Did you? Huh? Yeah, I saw it. You, Steve, and uh, Jessica Sanchez. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, and Maria, one thing. Yeah. Earlier while you were doing the weather segment, Sansone and Julie were dancing with you. Yes, they were. Because I was I here talking that. to you guys, and I missed uh -huh. my hit. I had to run in. <laughs> yep. And then they both decided to have a little fun. Yeah, they did. No, that was fun. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's my life now, you guys. It's just Is that your running life? around. Yeah, running around like crazy. That's because you're a busy mom mompreneur. personality. I'm a mompreneur. Blogstress. I'm a mompreneur. Actress. And a mom that loves technology. Person. Aww. Um, okay, well, that's it all. That's all I have. I don't know who's coming up tomorrow. That's all, folks. Abadi, abadi, abadi. Uh, I wish I could have pushed that. I didn't know that Jessica was going to come because she... Because yeah, she has a good uh, fan base. Huge fan base. Yeah. Yeah, on Twitter, yeah. so I'm, mm -hmm. I feel kind of bad that I didn't push it. It's all right. You can do oh, the best you can. What are you going to do? Yeah. Let it go. Move let on to go. the next thing. I've let it go. Let that's it go. right. I think you better let it go. <laughs> Look at Nick and his little effects that he's doing. That's not an effect. Isn't that a Google effect? Yeah. yeah it's what, the black effect. and white and the, <laughs> and the television? <laughs> Just being a sausage. Sausage. Yeah. You sausage. I'm like I'm a George Reeves yeah. Superman. Superman. How does Super how, how the term bangers and mash come about? Do, do we know this, Trev? Are you? It's a Scottish. Think, uh, is it not when when you cook them they pop? You know, like oh, they bang. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, it might be that. Yeah. That might mm. be. That makes sense. No, that yes, that does. It does. That's all I can think of. <laughs> no, okay, <laughs> no in idea. England. Wait a minute. In England, during New Year's, oh, you do Christmas crackers. 
Do you not do crackers? Yeah, well, I do crackers. What, you won't call them crackers, clearly, but... We call them <laughs> We prefer to be called honkies. Yeah, honkies. No. <laughs> <laughs> we do yeah. Christmas crackers. There are these things that it's wrapped up, and oh. then you you sit on either side of the table. Am I wrong or am I right? And you yeah, pull it's like a, and then it cracks into like confetti or whatever. Is oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you get a little toy in it and a joke. Yeah, there's you, get, you get a shit yeah. joke and a crap toy and just like you know. the little sh champagne poppers that you pull the yeah, string and yeah. it goes. They're like that. Yeah. They're kind of yeah. like that, yeah, but they're big. Oh, you always get you always get a little paper uh, crown. Paper, yeah, paper crown. Well, exactly. somebody but, in our office just came back from London. That's and right. Brought us the other day. They were like, oh. You know, biscuits are up at the front. I and I'm like, oh, biscuits. I hope there's some cloud oh, cream right, from yeah. with those biscuits. And then I went up there and there were cookies. And I'm like, <laughs> it's not okay. You just messed well, them we up. Call, um, These aren't biscuits. These are we call What you call biscuits, we call... Um, Crackers. No, no, no. Justin, what do you call it when you get like a... Oh, um, oh I know what you call it. You call it um, scones. No. No, 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 no. Oh, the same. Right, I know what you're talking yeah. about, Trev. Sorry. When you get like, um, it's like a, a stew and dumplings. Like, a, what do we call dumplings, or is it just dumplings? Stew and dumplings. Yeah, but yeah, like a, a basically like, like a, a uh, um, suet. I thought it you know, like a biscuit that you put like jam and butter yeah, in and it's eat. Like yeah. Oh, it's a scone. Scone. Really? Because yeah. I thought scone was just this doughy. Yeah, but that's thing. what they call it. it. It is, but you put jam in it and and, and, yeah. and, and yeah, like a whipped cream and it's... Yeah. yeah, it's like that, but it's like a scone. So you call cookies biscuits and biscuits scones? Well, oh. we do call cookies cookies as well, but cookies yeah. have to be... Cookies are, are a specific, um, like a chocolate, you get a chocolate chip cookie. That is still a biscuit, <laughs> but... Because she had a tin of cookies from Harrods, Oh. but it said biscuits. <laughs> now Maria's yeah. making me hungry. <laughs> Speaking of biscuits, this is so good. You what cannot get this here in the U.S. We have to go to a special Filipino condensada. store. Condensada. It's condensada, which means milk crackers or milk cookies. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's biscuits, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. With milk inside. Leche. Leche. Mm -hmm. I so what about con leche at home right now? I'm gonna have that right after the show. Yeah, they have yogurt soda too. That's definitely weird. Yogurt soda? It's got yes. snowflakes. Oh no, no, no! I have to draw the line at yogurt soda. I, I can't. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Thanks. It's like, did you guys ever do orange juice with um, or sorry, a scoop of ice cream in um soda or orange juice? No, nope. just soda and ice cream, like a root beer yeah, float. Yeah, like that, basically. Tang, we always used to put a scoop of vanilla ice cream in Tang. Mmm, I love Tang. Mm -hmm. Yep, same here. Tang's delicious. That's what I grew up with. <laughs> oh, man, but no, Tang, I remember we used to put so much sugar in Tang, you'd like have a diabetic fit. Why would you put sugar in Tang? Because I was a kid. Oh and that's my what God. You <laughs> I need a like flavor, Maria. Syrup, it gets that squishy. It's just full of syrup. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I would just take. I used. To, I was so bad when I was a kid. I would put sugar on my frosted flakes. <gasps> wow. <laughs> I did that too. I put sugar on my that's frosted. Flakes. But it <laughs> already has sugar, and you're adding extra. Yeah, I never had a cavity as a kid. Never had any problems with my teeth, but I was ridiculous. With I used kid. to put sugar in my raisin bran. Yep, that too. Mm -hmm. I that too. That didn't have that much flavor. Oh, uh, that's... Yeah, I used to do that too. Yep. Anyway. Well, you guys, I have to go. She I can't to believe go. it's almost 10. Um, I'll see All you. Right. I hate, you know, the trolls on YouTube, weird. Like, why are they letting these types of comments on? Is that, that's from YouTube? Mm-hmm. Because they don't have the time to stop them. I don't, even, I don't really understand them, but... It's what does it say? Oh, they kind of skirts freedom of speech. They can't. Nice face. There's not. There's not. Sex. Right now, they're not saying anything. No, the earlier was like. Earlier was. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't see it. But a lot of them are. Well, see, here's the thing. I think a lot of them you're seeing here, because when you go back to YouTube, you'll uh -huh. see that a lot of these comments have been flagged or blocked. Uh -huh. And some of the people watching may be doing that, but also I think the system catches some. Uh -huh. But I wonder how much of that you actually see here. Before the system catches it. I see all of it. 
And it's terrible because I have a guest. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> 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 it was my kid. Open your mouth. Yeah. It's called, what are you, a mama bird? It's called birding, yeah. <laughs> oh, bir ooh. Is it birding? Is that yeah. what they call it? Hector, you got a question? Yeah, how much how much did you actually pay for that um, watch wrist? It looks very good because I saw a commercial of it and it bundle. said after all these years, it's finally here. It's a bundle. Um, Isn't it $399? It's $300 for the watch itself. I didn't nice. buy this. This is a review unit. This is going back to Samsung. Yeah. Because um, a lot of television shows actually started doing those type of wrist um, phone communicators as well from... Dick Tracy, The Jetsons, uh, Predator, and um, 1979 Star Trek, and The Power Rangers as well. Yeah. Oh my God! Look at Tony. He's outside. I'm not a. Mm. Oh my God! Look. At He's Tony. trying to lift up Thor's hammer. <laughs> Come on, Tony. He can do it. Come on, Tony. Oh, sweet. That's hilarious. He can't get it. He's gonna give himself a hernia. He's going to have to call Odin to give him his powers. He cannot take the... Oh, Lisa's going to try. Well, Tony can't do it. I don't, I don't think the dog could do it. Oh, my God. Lisa! Go, go. Oh, this is going to end Lisa's head. career. I want to risk Maria Sansone <laughs> oh, to do it. Oh, they herself. got it. That's trick. It's a trick. They of course it's a trick. They, they <laughs> shut Tony up, look. Than Whoever holds this hammer up. could be worthy to possess yeah, the power of Thor. We just saw Lisa's belly button. That's okay. <laughs> um, it is a heavy hammer. Oh, <laughs> look at Tony. <laughs> he just dropped it. <laughs> look at Lisa's guns. Wow. She's got some arms. <laughs> it looks like Lisa's got stronger than Tony. Tony's a good news actor. Look at him. Look at him. Um, He's going to probably drag it. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful day. Yeah, Thank you, Thank you See you tomorrow. <laughs> you too. Yeah. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. You too.